Hello, Bearable Traders. This is Vicer. It's April 9th, 2020. It's my trade recap for crude oil futures today. It's a one minute chart. And at this time, point in time, this is 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. This is when the OPEC Plus meeting uh, was starting. And you can see that crude oil sold off and consolidated and then started making a new high. This is when I got interested in taking a long scalp on crude oil. And so I was just watching the price action, watching the candles form and develop. And on this candle, a new high was made. And this is when I decided to take a long. This long, I got long right here on this oval. At two seconds before this candle closed. So in retrospect, I wish I would have waited um, two more seconds. And on in this oval, this is where I closed my position. So I'll show you those fills now. So I got in long here at $27.28, which you can see on this label. Closed the position at $27.55 right here. The reason for closing um, at this point was I just wanted to, to an extent, retest uh, this high. The reason for making this long trade was because of the new high made here and also the extension from the nine moving average here and price being above all VWAP and all the other moving averages. And so this is why I was uh, comfortable taking a long trade in crude oil. So the trade netted 27 ticks. This doesn't sound like much. However, crude oil trades in $10 increments, so it's $10 per tick. So uh, the profit on this trade was $270. Uh, the trade took five seconds to execute. I'll show you that. Here's the open crude oil contract open at 828 or 827 and 58 seconds. Closed at 828 and 3 seconds. Five second trade. I'm in Eastern Europe, well, actually Central Europe, and my in a remote area, my internet connection is extremely slow. I'm down at um, typically one megabit to a few megabits a second. Uh, oftentimes, I don't even see these candles being formed fluidly. Uh, my chart prices are just stuck. Active Trader is just stuck, and then I'll get a data feed and I'll see price move really quick. So that's a challenge here. And this is why one of the reasons why I'm only looking to take scalp positions. And so that's why had I waited for this candle to close, if I was on a high speed connection, I could have done that. Um, but it's not possible where I am. And I'm not looking to top tick this. I'm just looking to take a few ticks out of this, which is exactly what I did on this trade. Stepping back from this, there's also an ABCD pattern that developed, which is actually um, more important in this trade. We have to start off with the ABCD pattern somewhere. So I'm choosing the low here. A, move up to B. The pullback to C and the extension all the way to D. So you might ask, okay, why didn't you hold um, for a much further extension of D? Number one is my internet connection. Number two is um, because of the tick value associated with crude oil, $10, $10 a tick. I don't want to risk a heck of a lot, and so I'm looking just for a scalp in crude oil. 
and that's what I got. So I'm content with this trade. Once this trade was closed, I never looked back at crude oil. You, you can see there were some, it, it, it sold off um, through the remainder of this time section. Um, there's more time to write, that doesn't matter. So that's my trade and I hope all of you um, had a great day and I'll see you Monday in chat. Thanks, bye.